Sorry, sir. The 2021 I submitted. Okay. Make sure to submit to at least one paper I need now. Lamai, okay, uh, okay. Those who not submitted papers, those are 90. Last week I shared two papers, 90. Is it few? Yeah. Submitted now? Uh, yes. Yeah. Just tell me. I, I, I just need to see. Raise your hand if you couldn't submit. Those are 19 papers. Papers, two papers. No, not accepted. Person submitted, ne? They have 19 both papers. One inch. Only one inch. Okay. At least one paper submit. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, I'm taking twenty twenty three last question. Okay, now this is Shh. There are two questions actually, right? Yeah, 25th question also I could do. This is still 2023 paper. Uh, 24th question we need. See this graph question, translation of graphs I gave you not also. This is 25th question. This is uh, the function f is such that fx equals 3x squared where x is smaller than 2x was the inverse function f inverse x in the form f inverse x. Okay. So what do we need to do? When you convert uh, into inverse function, especially quadratic function, right? Quadratic function, when you convert into inverse function, now can you all see x is there as 3x squared minus 12x plus 7 uh, this, is, this is fx now how can you make the change the subject into x when you have x there for two places with two different powers we know we can't make it a subject so what you we need to do complete x square complete x square will give you just one x then we can make it subject right okay so i'm going for the complete x square Okay, so I'm taking 3x squared minus 12x plus 7 equal to y. That's how we need to do it. First, fx you are converting into y, right? That is the first step of taking inverse function, right? Follow these steps when you convert anything into inverse function, right? fx is y. Then uh, y equal can you remember uh, the function that I gave you? x squared plus bx plus c equal c. This one, when you write it complete in square format, x plus b over 2 squared minus b over 2 squared plus c. This is what you call completing square function, right? Okay. Now, uh, you need to follow this formula. Any completing square equation, follow this, right? Okay. So according to that, but the first thing is I have three over here. So I need to take it out. 
the string. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it out. Then I'm getting x squared plus sorry minus. You need to divide all the terms by three. Eh? When you take three out, I'll write that also. Three x squared over two also divide by three. minus twelve x also should divide by three. Plus seven also you should divide by three. That's that's what happened when you take three out. Why we need to take three out? Because this format x squared coefficient should be always one when you when you con convert that into complete square. Remember, if you get an equation with coefficient for x squared is not one, mean you have to take it out. That's the first step, right? Okay. Then okay, let's see. Y equal three outside the bracket. Three to three cancel. X squared. 12 divided by 3, 4x. This one is 7 over 3. Leave it as 7 over 3. Okay. Now it's in our format. See? Ah, okay. Y equals 3. I'm putting box bracket, and I'm taking. Ah, uh, you need to take half of this term, right? Eh? So x minus 4 over 2 squared minus 4 over 2 squared. Plus seven over three. Is that clear to all of you? Check this. I I use this formula, right? Yeah. I use this formula over here. I applied it. Now I can simplify it. You don't need to do this much steps. Sir. I'm doing it for you to understand. X minus two squared. This one four divided by two 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 squared is. Always remember. Now you might thinking, ah, we have minus two, minus two squared is plus four. Is that correct? This negative sign is always negative. Remember that, ah, huh? it's always negative. It never becomes positive. Huh? Do not make that positive four because that negative sign is not belong to two. So I'll directly write here minus four. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then I'm getting. Okay. I'll expand the bracket. Multiply all the terms by three, right? This one. All these three terms I need to expand by three, right? So I'm getting three into this x minus two squared. Three into four minus twelve. Three into seven over three. What happened? This three to three cancel out. Me canceling out. So you are getting plus y equal three x minus two squared minus twelve plus seven minus five. Okay. Now we have x in one place. Now we need to change subject into x. So I'm taking Five first, right? I'm getting y plus five equal three times x minus two squared divided both sides by three. So three, three to three cancelling out, right? Then you are getting x minus two squared equal five plus five over three. Take the root. When you take square root, I taught you it should be plus or minus both. But then you are getting x minus two equal to plus or minus y plus five over three. Break this out here. X equal plus or minus y plus five over three. Plus two. Now what we need to do? I told you you need to change this into f inverse x. You need to change y into x.
Okay. Are we done? Not yet. If you go back, they say x is smaller than or equal to 2. x value is smaller than or equal to 2. If you check these two, let, let me split it like this. F inverse x equal, I'll take two front, huh? 2 plus square root x minus 5 over 3 or f inverse x equal to minus x plus 5 over 3. I can split it like this. Now we know x value is smaller than 2. Ne? Now there's a clear uh, thing is that this square root value whatever comes out from this square root sign is positive because we know it cannot be negative Any square root inside square root value should be positive according to that you are subtract you are adding some value to 2 you are subtracting some value from 2 now we know x is smaller than or equal to 2 x should be ah, so which one should be the this one should be the correct one or this one tell me left one or right one Left one. This one. Is it, is it the correct one? Hmm? But see, they clearly say x is smaller than or equal to 2. Huh? Uh, other. Right? Since x is smaller than 2, we need to take this one. Why? 2 minus 2 subtract some positive values. Outcome from this will be smaller than two. Got it. That is why we are selecting this answer. Remember, in the exam, if you mention both answers, you are losing one mark. Only the correct answer is right side mark. That's from writing f inverse x is equal to two minus x plus five. Okay, is that clear? Uh, do you want me to give you time to copy this or can you copy it later? What are you gonna do? Do you want to copy it now? Copy it. No, copy it, copy it. Yes, I did. Can you see it? Do you want me to zoom it up? Maybe 
these question mm -hmm. times are same, right? If you check few papers, you will see. Uh, Ritu, you are this correct or this very good? Can you remember we did few, I think only two or three questions, same thing, right? Try to do it again. Let me know if there's anything difficult, right? Especially you two, that is again. Same thing, Deha. Is it correct? No. 20 paper you did, eh? 20 paper, man. within this week, I'll share. Uh, uh, I'll share the corrected papers within this week, right? I can share some of your papers, I think, but I'll definitely share, right? Go on. You can copy it later because I can share PDF. Right? I don't copy. Same question types. May, is it correct? Correct? Didn't do it. Didn't? No, not even. They not even copy me. No, copy it. Now it cannot be hard. It's not hard, these question types. Do you want me to do a few questions like this? Huh? Okay, we'll do it. Same thing, Lama. If you, if you check few years, same thing is over there again and again, right? I'll do at least two VA questions in notes. Some random questions. Huh? You guys try it with me. I'll give you time. You can do it and then we check. Right? How many marks for this question? Four marks. Four. But easy four marks, right? Easy four marks. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Students are over here like that. We didn't do 
theory with me. So you're coming here to get some knowledge for the uh, you to write answers to the paper. The most important two things are there. One is definitely you should do this, do the paper and come. Otherwise, don't come for the paper discussion. Except you, I mean, next week onwards you can do it. Uh, definitely, you must complete your papers and come. Right now, uh, 2020 and 19 papers also submit. Right. The next thing I'm planning to do April, I'll give you mock exams on the morning and then uh, maybe even a paper discussion. Right. That will do. So probably four hour or maybe five hour classes there. Only two hours I'm taking for. Yes, sir. Already, then no problem, right? Yeah. So okay, we'll do it like that, right? Yeah. Try this question. Uh, I'll give you the year, right? I don't know which year this is. Okay, start. Uh, let me tell you the year for knowledge. This is uh, how to do this question. Everybody do it. Yeah, this is 2019. Maybe you did this one. No, not the paper that I gave you last year, right? Anyway, try this out. G is the function with domain, blah, 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 such that GX is equal X squared plus 6X. Write down the range of G inverse X. Okay. How do you find range? Hmm? Substitute minus range to your function and then you can get the range right because they say x is bigger than minus 3 right so substitute minus 3 and check ah g plus x may fine write down the range of g plus x yeah We have to convert that into the inverse. Before find inverse is function with domain. Yeah. First, you need to find what is inverse function. I'll give you some time. Try. Finish. If you're talking, finish your work. Okay. Yeah. I 
2018 में वर्ड प्रीवियस
from any domain of f. Now they say fx is bigger than fx should be bigger than or equal to 0. Therefore 4 minus x bigger than equal to 0. Right? So I'll take it over here, right? I don't have space over here. According to what they say this should be bigger than zero, which means four minus x bigger than or equal zero, right? Then square both sides, then you're getting four minus x still bigger than or equal zero. X should be smaller than four. It should be equal to or smaller than four. State which values of x must be excluded from any domain of f. Excluding values, they are asking. Now, you have to be careful. These are the values that we can include. 
But they are asking what are the values we need to exclude. Ah, uh, we must exclude values must exclude is what x bigger than or equal four must exclude. The other way. Be careful when you write the answer. These are the values we can include. Values we can include. Like these are the way. Because fx is bigger than zero, we can include any value less than four. But question they ask me: What are the values excluding the cell? The values that we cannot get as domain. Any value which is bigger than four, we cannot take. Right? Uh, sorry, this equal sign should be removed. Uh, whatever the value bigger than four should be excluded. Uh, equal sign cannot be there because we can take equal sign to included values. Or we can include, but any value bigger than four, we can't take include. Right? So imagine if you substitute four point five into x. You are getting, you are not getting any answer. Okay. Then the inverse function, if inverse has domain x bigger than or equal zero, find f inverse x. So, so when you finding f inverse x, you write down y equal square root four minus x. F x I replaced with y. Yeah. Then square both sides. Then you are getting this square both sides. Okay, then what you easiest thing to do is just switch them. Then you are getting x equal four minus y squared. Okay. Okay, now convert this into f inverse x equal 4 minus x squared. Y you need to write in x, x you writing as f inverse x. Find f inverse x. Okay, that's your answer. Okay, then they have another uh, question. Okay, let's do copy this down. I'll go to the other part. Finish. Okay. But G is the function uh, such that G x equal five minus x x minus one. Right? You all finish copying this? No? You all finish copying this? Finish? Shall I go to the other page? Is it okay? Okay. Find FGX, okay. Question. Okay. Find FGX. Okay. 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 Okay.
g is the function such that g x equal phi minus x x minus one. The composite function f g has domain. Okay. For now, keep this on mind. Maybe we need this at the end, right? Are they want you to find composite function f g x? What do we need to do? Wherever you have now, what is f x? F x is four minus x root. All right, that was over here. F x is four minus x square root. Now, composite function mean f g x mean lamai. What you need to do is f g x is five right. Wherever you have x, you need to replace with g x, right? So I'll write f g x is equal to something like this: four minus g x. That is what we got. See, this part replaced x. There is another. What that can be? So that is what we got. If you can't understand, come to this function. When you identify the patterns, it's easy. Right? Only thing you need to do few questions. Right? G x is see f we are no. composite function. What do you need to do over here is wherever you had x, you need to replace with g x. They have given us g x. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm writing f g x equal. Four minus um, I need to put this part. Five minus x, x minus one. I had x previously. Now I replaced x with see this x I replaced with this g x set. Is it clear to all of you? Yes. Okay. Now what we need to do? Okay. Uh, if we are asking in simplest form, okay. Uh, what can we do? Yeah. Uh, what? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, expand it over here. Now I have to read it. Okay. I'm, I'm expanding uh, gx, right? Find x, i x. Find minus one minus five minus six into it minus six squared minus six into minus one plus six. Five with six six x minus five minus six. <laughs> From this minus sign, multiply the whole bracket. Huh? Then you get four minus six x minus into minus plus five minus into minus plus six. That okay? Then what? F G X equal four plus five nine. X can write X square first. X square minus six x plus nine. Can we factorize this? We can factorize. Yes. X minus three. X minus three. Check this out. See, quadratic factorization applies. X squared minus six x plus nine. Lamai, more than key on my hand, we have a long time or rural, right? I don't want to hear anybody this. All right, more gold takes the regret. You know, the bigger with the net question is the current or is the phenomenon within the cup. Yandagi, 
Yeah. Yeah. 
try this one. Same question like previous one. This is 2021 uh, January paper, right? 2021 Jan. Paper one yeah. Right up. Shall we do this? Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, this is uh, actually three marks. But one of last questions, right? Yeah. This is uh, in this particular paper, you have only 24 questions, and this is 22nd question. Three marks, easy three marks, isn't it? You can easily get that. Only three, three marks. Right. This three marks are typical. It's easy, right? It's easy. Uh, Richard, do you mean it? Is it clear? The Sandhi and uh, Lelusha uh, is the rule. Samit. 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 Okay. 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 I still copy. Do you want me to go back? No. Okay. The last question of twenty two and yeah, twenty three paper, right? Six. Yeah. Yeah, what do we need to do? Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, find the values of n such that 10 to the power 4n need to do to the power whatever, whatever, whatever is equal to 1. Okay, how can we do this? Those who did this question, raise your hand. No? Three paper list. What are we doing is 2023 2H. Those who did this question, please. Anyone? Sorry. Sorry. Shall we come? Still okay. You did that. No. Okay. What do we need to do? Yeah. Uh, what I think is, what if we take to 20? Is it not? 20 to power 2 is to the other side. Then we are getting 10 for n uh, into. 3 uh, m squared minus 5 n into 5 uh, 2 1 minus 2 n equal 20 to power 2. 20 power 2 mean 400 n. Is it? 400? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, this is my plan, right? Uh, I think uh, 2 and 5 is uh, prime numbers, but 10 is not a prime number. I'm trying to break this also into powers of 2, right? I don't know. This is what I'm doing. Maybe it will work, right? We'll see. Uh, 10, I'm writing it as uh, uh, 5 into 2 to the power 4 way. We can write it that way. No problem. Because it's strain, right? Okay. Then two to the power, yeah, three times n square minus five n into five to the power two times one minus two n is equal to uh, four hundred dollars. I'm trying to write with powers of two and five. Might it might work? We'll see. Four hundred down. Doing prime factorization. What is called the prime factor decomposition, right? Yeah. I can break. No. Prime factor decomposition. What you call you find in prime factors. Yeah, I'm dividing it by two. I'll do it over here. Divide 
divided by 2, 200 divided by 2, 100 divided by 2, 50 divided by 2, 25 divided by 5, 5. Ah, yes, I can write. One. So I can write this 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four. Into 5 square. Ah. Okay. Now I can take this power of me. 5 to the power 4n into 2 to the power 4n into, uh, let me, yeah, okay, I'll keep it that way. 3n squared in minus 5n into 5 to the power 2, 1 minus 2n equal to 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power Ah. If you take powers of 5 separately, it should equal to 2 according to this. Why? That's how it is. See? 5 over here. Again, 5 over here. 5 over here. So we can infer exponents because our base is equal. Base is equal. Base is equal. We can equal exponents. But we need to take this into one exponent. No, no, hold on, hold on. I'll write it as one exponent. 5 point into what you do when you multiply same bases? You add them. Eh? Okay, so I'm writing 5 to the power 4n plus 2 times 1 minus 2n. Okay, into 2 to the power, I can write it. Uh, I'll put blocks bracket. 4 in plus 3 times n square minus 5. Is equal to 2 to the power of 4 into 5. Ah, now I can equal exponents. Okay. Is it clear? Right? Okay, I'm writing here 4 in plus 2 times 1 minus 2n equal this exponent should equal to this thing only one five term only one five term yeah and the other one is two right this part okay then i'm writing this four n plus two this exponent is equal to uh, I think we can get value for it from this one, is it? Are we getting two values for it? I'm not sure. Might be. Okay, we'll see. Four n plus two minus four n equal. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. This one we we don't go anywhere. Eh? See, four n minus four n. So we can't use this one. I have to go for the other one. 4n plus 3 times n squared minus 5n equal 4. See, this exponent should be equal to 4. Okay. Now, well, let me expand the bracket. 4n plus 3n squared minus 15n. I'm taking 4 to the other side. Minus 4 equals 0. Ne? Then you are getting 3n squared minus 15 plus 4 is minus 11 minus 4 equals 0. Yeah. Okay. We can use what quadratic factorization. Yeah. I think we can factorize this. We should be able to factorize it. So we are getting 3 into 4 minus 12n squared. Uh, what are the factors of 12? 4, 6 and 2. Is it? No. 12. Ah, yeah. 12. 12 and 1 we can take. Minus 12 you can get. Minus 12 plus 1. Eh? Minus 12 into 1. Ne? That way we can obtain this thing. 3n squared minus 12 n. Plus n minus four equals zero. These are the factors. 
then take out of these two take 3 n out then you are getting n minus 4 this one take plus 1 out n minus 4 equals 0 so 3 n plus 1 n minus 4 equals 0 therefore n equal 3n minus 1 equals 0 or n minus 4 equals 0. If you take minus 1, n equal 1 or 3. Are they giving some uh, inequality or something? No, ne? I think both values are possible. Ne? Should be. Ne? Do any of you have any point? I don't know, should be correct. Good question. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Then it is negative, okay? Eh? Uh, we can't take that one, then, okay? Eh? But still, we can take negative. We can take both values. We can take the same thing. In the same possible. Right? Yes, both values possible. No? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, copy down. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm going to a uh, paper 2021 inch paper, right? Yeah, to which, uh, yeah. To the, this is the paper I'm going to discuss 2020 uh, May 1st paper, right? Okay, so this one, uh, yeah, take this paper out. 2020 May paper, 19 May, Tuesday, yeah, one inch. The last paper that I gave you two weeks ago. This one, do you want me to discuss the whole paper or only the difficult questions? Huh? Do you want me to discuss from question onwards? What do you think? Huh? Uh, this is the paper. I'll go. Up. Take it out. Take it out. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, take a five minute break. Huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
everything else which is outside B. Basically, 8, 14, 10, 9, 13, 11, 7, 5. Can you write anything inside this circle? Even can you write 2, 6, 4? No. They are inside B. B dash mean that. Okay. Number is picked at random from the numbers in the Venn diagram. Find the probability that this number is in set A but is not in set B. Okay. They say you are picking a number that is, uh, sorry, number is picked from random from the Venn diagram. Find the probability that this number is in set A but is not in set B. Ah, okay. How many numbers are there? Three numbers are there inside only A. Only A is three, right? Taking this number, but not in set B. Probability that this number is in set A, but is not in set B. Three, only three, eh? Three out of what is total? 40. Is that you? Probability is three out of 40. Okay. Question number two, I'm not writing any of these, right? Is in it? I think which so 2023 to PDF are shared today. You have uh, 35 pages. Why there's 35 pages? Because I did some extra questions also, right? That's why. This may be right. 2020 may. May or Jen? May. Okay. Toy cars are made in factory. Toy cars are made for 15 hours each day. Five toy cars are made. In the toy cars are made, made for 15 hours each day. Five toy cars are made every 12 seconds. Okay, okay. For the toy cars made each day, the prob probability of a toy car being fault is 0 0.002. Okay. Work out an estimate of the 40 toy cars that are made each day. Okay. Yeah. I'll do this one. So first of all, we need to find how many toy cars they make. Number of toy cars. Number of cars. What is it? 15 hours, the factory works. 15 hours, 12 seconds. So I'm going to convert, first of all, hours into seconds. Right? 15 into 3,600. For one hour. This need to be divided by 12 because why to find number of toy cars and dividing it by 12. Then multiplying it by because they don't have many the clear number of toy cars. Um, first what I did, I converted 15 hours into seconds. Right? Then divided by 12 to find how many five, you know, sets of five. Then multiply that by five to find number of cars. Right? Okay, what is the outcome? 12, 1, 12, 3, 300, 315 is 5. What is it? Hmm? 75 and 300. Yeah. 22,500. Us. They say. Um, yeah, 40 was uh, yeah. 40 toy cars. Therefore, mm -hmm. 
then two y equal sixty six minus twenty nine. Two y equal what is sixty six minus twenty nine? Thirty five. Thirty five. Thirty seven. Eighteen point five. Y equal eighteen point five. Yeah. Okay. Does something happen to it? I sent a message on Facebook. Okay. Very nice. Maybe concentrate, <laughs> right? Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand. I'm not discussing the papers which I'm giving in the previous week, right? I'm going on order. This paper I gave two weeks ago. I'm coming on the order. Now after this one, I'm going to two thousand twenty. Two H. Then I'm going to nineteen like us. But every week I'm giving you different papers. That one might be coming on the row. Right? It might it might take some time. Because even though I'm giving two papers to do you within the week, I can't discuss both papers within the same week. Therefore, we are behind. Discussion is behind the papers you are doing. Therefore, make sure when you come to the class, bring all the papers which you didn't discuss in the class. Okay. I told you now. Anyway, this month I'm using this normal discussion. Then uh, April will go for the mock mock exams, right? I have few mock papers. I give you mock papers. You do it on the class, and we'll do the same paper discussion on the same day. That that really works. It's better than this because you do do it on the morning, and I'm giving you the answers at the evening. Right? That that helps more than this, right? Okay, because you can. You know, learn how to type your paper. Those things are there. Yeah. Okay. Next question. So for mock exams, you all should be here, right? Come to the physical class. No point of doing online. Minduni. Yeah. And then you also come, right? I'm not offering uh, mock exams online. मैं अप्रैल आउट होने में है अब दो घंटे वाला इंटरवल है ना इस अप्रैल तो हम नहीं भी है स्टिल ओवर डा या फाइव पॉइंट सेवेन इन टू टेन तो तो बाय माइनस थ्री एंड ऑर्डिनरी नंबर लेसन 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 बट यू नीड टू डू डिवाइडेड बाय टेन सो फाइव पॉइंट सेवेन इस डेसिमल यू नीड टू ब्रिंग वन टू � then zero point zero zero five seven. Right, ten thousand is standard form. Bring this one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Then what is the value? Eight into ten to the power five. Yeah. When the standard form is what? What is standard form? A into b to the power n. A should be equal or bigger than, but smaller than ten. This is the condition. If you need, write this down. Standard form. Which is what? This a is something can be equal to one, but smaller than a, right? This write down this. A ki n ki na, which is in between one and ten, cannot be equal to ten, can be equal to one, but not less than one. That is what we call standard. Okay. Always one point zero eight. That that's possible. Any decimal places are there, right? Any decimal places can be there. One point one two three four five six whatever into ten to the power whatever. Power can be anything, negative or positive, doesn't matter. Yeah. 
when you do question like this, yeah, how you do it? I prefer factorization, right? Don't do anything else. Go for factorization. Now, if you check this, the best thing I suggest is take the maximum power out. Before you take the highest power out, you do this frame, not the mega calculator. I have to check that. I have checked that. But this is how I do this, right? I'm writing it 3 into 10 to the power of 5 minus this one also. I'm going to make the same power, which means 0 0.27 into 10 to the power of 5 over 6 into 10 to the power minus 2. Then I'm taking 10 to the power 5 out. 3 minus 0 0.27 over 10 to the power minus 2 into 6. Then you can take this power up. You are getting 10 to the power 7 into what is this 3 minus 0 0.27? What is the value? Two point seven three. Yeah. What is uh, two point seven three over six? Yeah. Still, this is not in standard form. We bring it over here. Got it. Are you getting the same answer? Yeah, they are saying they make a question. I uh, mean, this answer, uh, yes, this one working. Is it, can you give me one minute? I'll check the marking scheme. I'm not sure how many marks for this one. Two marks, me. Um, I think you need to show you working. That's why they have even two marks. Yeah. That's a great try. <laughs> two marks each. Four marks for the whole question. Two marks for this team part. Why they have two marks? I prefer. Maybe you need to show you work. Let me check whether they need you to show your working or not. Give me one minute. Let's see how they uh, give you marks. Two thousand twenty, yeah, sorry, yeah.
I mean, yeah, this one method in one more case there. Now you can get the total make M two marks for uh, for method you already one mark. Yes. Use final answer method M one mark for the final answer. Now your answer is. 4.55 10 to the power 6. So, yeah. Some 24 digits, 4, 5, 1. Accuracy mark 1. Uh, no, two marks of it. But anyway, you write working, I prefer, right? Because this working will help you to get the uh, answer quickly. Right? Yeah. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Six question, three months. Okay, check this out. A rocket travel uh, 100 kilometer at an average speed of this. Work out how long it took the rocket to travel on it. Distance over time. So time equal distance over speed. So I'll take it over here. This is in our reactor. It is also for near certain. They need. Yeah, they need to certain. Now you are getting this time in hours, right? This is in hours. Why? Then you need to multiply it by 3600. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you need to multiply it by 3600 because you they, they want it in seconds. Okay, what is it? What is that? 12 point? 12 point recurring six. Huh? Yeah. They say get it to near a second, which means 30. Right. Copy down. Okay. I'm going to 
We don't need to do them next. These are easy questions. Quadratic factorization. Are there anyone who find quadratic factorization difficult? Ramit, Dina, Vidya, okay, next. Maybe you do, okay. So this is minus 48 y square minus 48 y square. Then uh, what are the factors? Minus eight. Ah yes, yes. So what are the factors? Uh, hence all these which means yeah, okay. This is a question, right? Now we got to all right. Yeah. Here is a 10 sided polygon. Work out the value of x. Yeah, okay. What, what can we do? Yeah, 10 sided polygon. We need to find x. Ne? So, first of all, find the angle sum of polygon. Ne? What is the formula? Angle sum equal. Interior angle sum. Is equal to what? Around N minus 2. Okay. Yeah. 
how many sides are there in equal? 10. Therefore, R and 80 into 10 minus 2 10. R and 80 to 8. Then you can get the value. What is it? 180 to 8. What? Yeah, that is the sum of this. This is sum of all the angles. So we can write formula for that. One. Here, this is x. Take it as 360 minus 6. 360 minus 6. Yeah. Yeah, help me with this. Simplify this, you can do it. Yeah, what is it? X equal 221. Get the is clear. Okay. Real normal price are reduced by twenty percent. Normal price x kilo normal price. Take it as x. Then uh, you're reducing it by twenty percent. Mean hundred minus twenty over hundred. And back was this. Which is our idea. If you are a percentage decrease. So x equal 1080 in 200 over 18. 0 to 0. x equal what? Check, check, check. 10,800 over 8. What is it? 1,300. 50. Oh, pounds? I don't know. Or rupee? I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, okay, check this out. This one, uh, numbers are given like this. Find the highest common factor. Uh, when you find the highest common factor, I think that day I told you. Yeah. Okay. 16 into the 3 to the power 37. This 16 you can write as 2 to the power 4 nila. That was a in power. When you remember, when you write HCF, take the common highest power. Common highest power. What is common highest power? Is it 2 or 2 to the power 4? It is 2. What is common now here? 3 to the power. That is okay. Can we leave it like this? Yes. Yes, yes. Express number A into B as product of powers of its prime factors. Give me answer in its simplest form. Yeah, that was a possible. 
2 into 3 to the power 43 into 2 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 37. Then you are getting 2 to the power 5 into 3 to the power at the end. Okay. Is it clear? Is it easy? Yeah. Hmm? I am seeing. Yes, yes. Good question. Yeah. Imagine they ask you a question you, for you to find LCM. Yeah, that is good one. Everyone check. Because I have seen they are asking sometimes for you to find both in the same question. Ah. Huh. Shanuka, tell me if they ask you to find uh, LCM, what you need to do? That's the highest one. You need to take the highest one. Imagine you had another five over here. When you are taking that, also in your consideration. LCM, you are taking everything with highest power. Right? Doesn't need to be common. Doesn't need to be common. Okay, so you are taking 2 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 43. Imagine you had no here of 5, no 5 for A, but 5 for B. Now then you are taking 5 as well. Likewise. Okay. You are taking everything for LC. Okay. Maybe I just need to see how many marks for first 10 questions. Just we'll see. Out of 100. Okay, 3, 6, 10, 8 marks, which is 18. Right? 18 plus 3, 21. 21 plus 4, 25. 29. 30, 32, 36, 40, 40. It's like this, right? It's 40. I didn't check that. Is it same thing for first ten questions for I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think somewhere around forty. Very much. Now I have that. Okay. Listen, 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 Milly. Now have have you seen this for in first ten questions? How easy those are? That's forty. If you get forty, what is your result? Level, what is your level? You can really see. See, is it one nine to one result scale? No, not fair. Right. For me, not fair. Three is the real one. Four and five. In between four and five. Let's say, according to your grade thresholds, there's something called grade thresholds. Fair is three. No. Two, I am two. One, two. They are not giving them. One, two. They are not giving them. Yeah, they are giving them. Definitely fair. One, two. Three, I think, like, yes. did I show you that scale? Did I show you that? Yeah. <laughs> 
What about you? Listen this. Hmm. See, uh, yeah. So, this is how it looks. Okay? Hmm? They didn't give you marks, ni? Yeah. No, because it's like this. I mean, exactly your marks. I cannot tell whether it's a paste or not because they change them. Small change. This how it was previously. Yes. Nine bit yes, sir. Yeah. Huh? Marks. Yeah, marks might be changed, right? Yeah, uh, exact mark is not there, but I can tell you uh, forty. Somewhere on four level four level four mean according to that you are getting what forty this forty definitely you can the level three and now okay anyway I'm going to the next question level question. Yeah, okay. Shh. Diagram shows trapezium. The trapezium has exactly one line of symmetry. BC is this, AD is this, trapezium area is this. Work out the size of angle ABC. Okay. They, they say this one isosceles trapezium. Ne? They want you to find this angle, ABC angle. Uh, they say trapezium has exactly one line of symmetry in the sense this side is equal to this side. Let's say this angle is X, this angle also X, right? These two sides parallel. Mm, yeah. Okay. What's the plan? Tell me. What is this? I think you took this perpendicular idea yeah. and you found it and you found the angle. Okay. This is my plan, right? I'm going to draw this perpendicular height from here to here. Then this angle I'm taking it as theta. Theta. This is anyway 90 in the mind, right? This is anyway 90, right? So what we need is 90 plus theta is equal to ABC, ABC angle, isn't it? If you know theta, you know ABC, right? To find theta, we can use this information they have provided, right? Okay. I'm drawing this line as well. Now then I know this part is 8.4. Since this is uh symmetrical i can take this length as y because for you to find theta you need this edge right this is also you need this length is y from here to here this length also y huh? there's another way is it yes and then divide by two then divide by two yes right so yes you can write 2y plus uh, 2y plus 8.4 is equal 17.6 is that clear why this is 8.4 mean this part also 8.4 
Why? These are perpendicular lines, right? So 2y equal, help me. Nine point two divided by two divided by two y equal what four point six centimeters. Uh, you know why? If you take this triangle out, this data. This is four point six. H. Uh, how can we find H? We know the area, ne? Uh, we'll use what is the what is formula to find the area of trapezium? Trapezium that is given in the formula sheet, is it? <laughs> yeah. Eight point four plus seventeen point six into H. Divide by two. Yeah, it is different from this. Huh? Half into this set divided by two is it different. <laughs> it's the same, right? Okay. Use this and find the age. Yeah. Six plus four, ten for remaining. Add it to 7, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, 26 into H over 2. This. What is the value of H? What is the value of H? H equal 30.8. Namai, the Satin Arthur and the Magisati with Ray and Tony of Gold with a monocle. The Dana, I think, and 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 I I'll share it. I'm sharing this PDF, don't worry. This one and previous one both I'm sharing, right? Okay. Then now what? To find theta? What is the ratio of the theta? Trigonometry. Tell me. And yeah. theta is equal 4.6 over 13.8. Theta is equal to tan inverse. 4.6 over. Here, anyway, what is that? Theta is equal 18.43. Therefore, ABC angle is equal 90 plus 18.43. What is the final value? 108.43. Not that difficult, right? One decimal? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Round it up. This is not the final answer, then should be for it.